Gertrude is both fantastic and political. It is both a social comment and a great flight of the imagination. And at its heart, if you want to think about the social or political content of it, is a desire that society should evolve. So in other words, what kind of society can we are we moving towards? How am I staging it with as little set as possible? What you will see is an open stage and I am staging it with as much left to the imagination as possible. I come from theatre, so I am really interested in it from the point of view of theatre. What we have tried to do is make something which is taking its cue from the music. I suppose we are trying to do something which goes right to what we think of as the heart of the magic flute. When you think about this opera, you really think of it as a whole set of bits. You think of Papageno's moments and Parmina's moments and the Queen of the Night, of course, which is very famous. But one of the things that I've been interested in is how all these moments interact or infect each other. And so trying to find the connections between moments for me has been particularly interesting. We have to assume that Mozart put something very deeply of himself in this. He is at the height of his powers. Rather than seeing the magic flute as some kind of Viennese patisserie, I wanted to strip away the confectionery and reveal some of the ingredients that go to make up the magic flute so that people perhaps can have something of the same surprise and delight that they had in 1791. <laughs> Cine, música, series, libros, teatro, artes plásticas, gastronomía, todo el mundo de la cultura y el entretenimiento aquí en El Tiempo. Suscríbase al canal de YouTube del Tiempo, que además es gratis, y le mandamos notificaciones de nuevos videos.